but I read what was released, and I think it's a disgrace. I think it's an absolute disgrace. Now to President-elect Donald Trump responding today to claims that Russia is trying to compromise him as he takes questions from a room full of reporters for the first time in six months. Only nine days to go before the president-elect takes the oath of office. And today, CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely reports on a first for Donald Trump since the Democratic Convention. In his first news conference since July, President-elect Trump strongly denied reports that Russia obtained compromising personal and financial information about him. It's all fake news. It's phony stuff. It didn't happen. It was a group of opponents that got together, sick people, and they put that crap together. So. He thanked some news outlets for not showcasing the reports, but blasted CNN and refused to take questions from its reporter. I'm not going to give you a question. You are fake news. And Trump defended his relationship with Russian President Vladimir Putin. If Putin likes Donald Trump, guess what, folks? That's called an asset, not a liability. Do you honestly believe that Hillary would be tougher on Putin than me? Does anybody in this room really believe that? Give me a break. Trump also outlined plans to divorce himself from his extensive business empire, forming a trust to turn over control to his sons, Don and Eric, who, it said, will make decisions for the duration of the presidency without any involvement whatsoever by President-elect Trump. The company will do no more deals abroad, but will continue to expand its domestic business. And the president-elect vowed to move quickly to both repeal and replace Obamacare. Obamacare? is the Democrats problem. We are going to take the problem off the shelves for them. We're doing them a tremendous service by doing it. Mr. Trump insisted he has no deals with Russia, no loans with Russia, and no interest there. But once again, he refused to release his tax returns to back up that assertion, saying the only people interested in his returns are reporters. And Trump said he intends to move quickly after taking office, naming a new Supreme Court justice within two weeks and within 90 days, producing a report on how to strengthen U.S. government agencies against foreign hacking. So a speedy agenda and a crowded one. Yeah, he seems like he's still emphasizing this wall. He wants to move quickly on that. He's addressing it today. Too. Also said, yeah, he wants to build up that uh, that wall against Mexico, insisting that the United States will pay for it first, but Mexico will pay us back later. Not exactly clear how that's going to happen. And, of course, that testy exchange with CNN reporter Jim Acosta, who worked here at he's CBS2 here. Chicago yeah. years ago, that a bit chilling because after the news conference, presidential spokesperson Sean Spicer allegedly told Acosta that he will be barred from from future news conferences if he continues to ask tough questions. And of course, that is our job that's to what, ask tough that's questions. That's what we do. That's what we do. All right. Thanks. Thank Appreciate you.